I think that it's amazing to think that Mr. B still hasn't commented on this. I don't know. I don't know what he can say along the way that will turn his the perception of him specifically online. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, that unsolved mysteries theme. Hey, wow. give it up for Sean. Sean, by the way, it's a great normal man. Uh, if you guys want to, if you guys need any work done, you can find Sean's link down below, uh, down below in the description. He's a stud. You can see his entire portfolio and he's done the breaking news one, the Mr. Beast files. So we're going to continue to do more of that along the way. With that said, Mr. Beast drama continues to unfold. This is now we're, we're approaching almost two months on this story and still no word from Mr. Beast proper after his initial like tweet. And uh, apparently what Mr. Beast is looking to do is wait and wait and wait until all the information has come out. But what he's doing while he's waiting, and by the way, I don't know if all the information will ever come out, but we'll see. Um, but this is from Rosanna Pensino. And she was one of the first people who came out before the Chris Tyson stuff talking about the Beast games. And she was actually in a video in particular where she said she was edited out. And she was like, no, nah, this whole thing's fake. The whole Mr. Beast shit is fake. And when she, and just like Jose Canseco, she was the first one out of the gate and people like immediately discredited her, right? Now she's looking just like Jose Canseco, like a truth teller along the way that everybody was using steroids along the way you know, in the major league baseball, but she's saying everything in Mr. Beast is fake and it's all, you know, a bunch of nonsense. Right. Anyways, she put this out and she was talking about the beast games along the way. And she said this, she said, Lip, I have received confirmation from five verified contestants that for the first round of beast games, a man named Armini Azadi was allowed to compete. He was previously charged with at least 20 counts of battery, kidnapping, and pimping, and robbery. He pled guilty to the pimping charge, acknowledging the significant evidence against him. He allegedly also slept near female contestants before being kicked off the set for inappropriate behavior. Some of the female contestants confirmed being very uncomfortable with him. He is also friends with Jake Paul and other influencers. Uh, why was there not adequate background checks to catch people like this? What does it um, matter if he's friends with Jake Paul? Well, it turns out he was more than friends. He was actually his former manager along the way as well. Uh, what does it matter? I, I think probably that's how he got into the show. Most likely because he probably knew somebody at Mr. Beast from getting in there, right. Uh, from, from their relationships. I mean, so, all the other, all the other stuff is bad. You yes. Know, really, really bad. But the, oh, he's friends with this person because people don't like that person. I don't think is. Yes. I, I don't disagree with you on that. I don't disagree with you on that at all. Um, but it is one of those things where um, you have this person who's done very bad things. You got to ask, like, was there no background check at all when it comes to this stuff? You saw uh, in the Mr. Beast channel itself the business itself they hired uh, jake the vikings um inappropriately doing things brother-in-law right and you know so there's like this history of like not looking into people's past when it comes to hiring people uh or at least leveraging people uh for different things specifically with this game show and there's also um this when it comes to uh, mr beast as well where things have gotten not so great. This also from Rosanna Pansino. She says, Mr. Beast has hired Matthew Hitzik's crisis management company. Matthew Hiltzik began his career at Weinstein's or Weinstein's Miramax. Matthew Hiltzik is a lawyer and publicist who represents politicians and Hollywood figures. Shortly after Mr. Beast hired Matthew, a Mr. Beast company email was, quote, leaked. I believe this was their first strategic move attempting to rebuild Jimmy's image to the public. Um, hiring anybody that was associated with Harvey Weinstein isn't exactly a, a great look along the way. Um, Flash, I would love to hear your thoughts on, on this. <laughs> I think it's awful optics. Awful optics. And Weinstein's in jail. 
So it's not like he really, you know, did a great job there. I don't know. <laughs> well, the the just the name Weinstein has a sullied reputation, obviously, from the amount of creepy things that that dude did, obviously landing him in jail. But you got to think that things are pretty bad when you're hiring somebody who who is associated with this guy um, who ran PR for for his Miramax company back in the day. And uh, the lawyer and publicist who represents politicians and Hollywood figures. Number one, this guy's got to cost a shit ton of money. Oh, which... yeah. <laughs> he's got the money, though. He's He's got it. That's his pocket change to Mr. Beast. Right. But do you think that the uh, the email that was leaked, the whole leaked email about like uh, Mr. Beast saying, hey, I'm your boss, I'm your leader, and, and we're going to get through this and blah, blah, blah. Do you think that that was like that was a planned leak? Because that is part of the strategy here. Any thoughts on that? Yes, actually. You thought you thought it was leaked. Kind of think so. Yeah, I think so too. I think there was definitely there's definitely uh, something to that. Lorena, have you been following the Mr. B story at all? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, kind of messed up and definitely not a good look that he's hiring a. Uh, his lawyer is associated with Harvey Weinstein. Not, not good. I think that, uh, you know, there's, there's been a lot of people who have kind of, um, I don't know when it rains, it pours in the, in the crisis management world, right. When you got something going on, you, you know, it started with the Chris Tyson stuff. Then it went into the, mm -hmm. um, you know, the beast game stuff. And it was like, well, there's company wide issues. And then there's people coming out of the woodwork. Apparently one of the guys who came out of the woodwork, like, and I, I got to do a little more research on this, but apparently one of the guys who made this video about him and it, and it kind of popped off, apparently Mr. Beast paid him some back pay or something between the first video and, and his most recent video, which mm. is all sorts of shitty. Right. Um, but you know, it tells me that they're out there to trying to grab some bags as, as much as they possibly can, but I got to do a little more research on it before, before I, uh, uh, go with that. But, um, that's just, this is what I hear along the way so but you know it is what it is it is what it is in this world of of youtube and i think that it's amazing to think that mr b still hasn't commented on this um i don't know i don't know what he can say along the way that will turn his the perception of him specifically online um but because he did release a new video, by the way, and the video did once again get just absolutely not ratioed, but the like dislike ra uh, uh, rating on it is is very high. Um, he released a video a couple days ago and uh, here it is right here. You can see the the video itself has. And by the way, we're, all, we're only going off this because, hey, the uh, like dislike ratio tool is clearly off at all times, right? That's what that was. They were trying to discredit it. But here was the video he released seven days stranded in a cave, 2.9 million thumbs up, 1.3 million thumbs down. So this is not your standard <laughs> Mr. Beast thing. And by the way, not a single, <laughs> not a single negative wow. comment, by the way. Not a oh, single, yeah, I'm sure. Yes. I'm sure mm. they're not deleting them. <laughs> or hiding He's got them. somebody sitting there. Like just watching all this shit, probably he he, he can afford it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I right, guarantee you, they're not actually being deleted. They're just being hidden, like shadow banned. That's the same thing. Well, I mean, yeah. Actually, but... uh, he's probably got keywords hidden, like that will just hide it automatically. Oh, you can one... do that. Yeah, absolutely, oh, one thousand percent. Yeah, you can put keywords in there that uh, don't show up. Huh. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, which, hey, you know, it is what it is. People people are speaking. Uh, and I think ultimately what you're seeing here is he has 63. It's it's still the number one trending video on YouTube, right? And there is wow. something that, that needs to be done specifically when it comes to not just Mr. Beast does, needs to make a statement, but YouTube also needs to make a statement. This is the number one trending video on YouTube. This is the number one creator on their platform. And YouTube cont continues to stay silent. Uh, and I don't understand that. I understand YouTube's message would be, hey, you know, we're, we are, uh, you know, we have millions of creators on a platform. Why are we going to speak about one? 
Well, it's because you highlight this one. He is your cash cow. He is the guy bringing in so much revenue for you. It's ridiculous. That's why you have to talk. I mean, you've, you've essentially partnered with him on a number of different different videos. Uh, so yes, you should make a comment about them, about him. So did you did you see this video for Mr. Beast here? I'll share it. Yeah, I'll just show that. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> so funny and what a great what a great uh thumbnail as well mr beast so uh so yeah there you go there's a little bit more mr beast for you as we continue to track this story along the way it will continue to go until until he makes some sort of statement what statement would that will be i didn't do nothing wrong that's what it will probably be <laughs>